Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, you are going to learn a count if function. A count if function counts the number of cells within a range that meet the given condition. In the previous video, we have seen count command and count a. Count will count number of cells which contains the numbers. But here in this one, we are going to count the number of cells within a range that meet the given condition. Conditionally, we are counting. Okay, let's go to the task 20H. So in this task 20H, we are going to open a file called stop.csv. This file lists some workers on another project and list each worker's job in place the formula in cell b24 to b28 let's go to the file stop.csv uh, this is a stop.csv file let me so select this click on this part and double click here so you can see full data clearly in the cells okay uh, here you are going to do let me zoom this uh, look at this one uh, here we have some data let me zoom it once again look at this we have a project this one and name of the employee job of an employee years of experience if you go down you can see number of staff how many directors are there here in b24 you are going to write a formula cell b24 let's go back to the task in B24, from B24 to B28, we are going to write a function here. Okay. Uh, to count how many of each type of workers are employed on the project. Then uh, place a formula in cell B31. B31 is this one. Okay. To count. Uh, Okay, in cell B31, we are counting number of employees with less than five years of experience. In uh, place a formula in cell B32 to count the number of employees with 10 or more years of experience. Okay, uh, let me take you to the data. Look at this data. Uh, here we have jobs like programmer, programmer, analyst, sales, engineer, programmers there are so many different different jobs are there here you have number of staff we have directors analyst engineer programmer and sales so in this list we have all the five uh, jobs so we need to find out how many programmers are in this like one two three four five six seven eight programmers are there like that we need to find how many directors are here how many analysts are here okay we need to write function here so what function we are going to write here count if equal to count count if conditionally i am counting first we should write range from where i am going to find the jobs from here from b3 to b21 from this range this is my range comma what is my criteria my criteria is director 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 okay so after writing like this you can press enter key if you do any spelling mistake here it will not work you have to make sure that the same spelling should be there in the list press enter key you will get one director okay let's go and check here how many directors we have we have one director similarly you need to do it for analyst so equal to count if take the range this is my range okay and comma what is my criteria analyst analyst fine so how many analysts are that two analysts here there is one analyst and maybe somewhere here is another analyst so we have two analysts so in this way you are going to find out number of engineers number of program but it's very tedious task 
most in exam, mostly in exam, they will ask you to copy the formula to the other cells. Okay, can I copy this formula to other cells? If I copy it, I will get all one, 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 one director. Look, because my criteria here is director. Therefore, I am getting for all director, 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 isn't it? So what should I do to, uh, to copy the cell, to copy the formula to the other cells? You need to use absolute and relative reference. So when we drag the formula down, I would like to show you the formula here. Go to formula and show formula. Look at my formula in this one. So in cell B24, count if B3 to B21 director we have. In this one, if I drag it, I'm getting B4 to B22. The range is changing here, but I do not want my range to change because the range is fixed always. For all the employees, I am going to take the same range. Therefore, I should not change this range. The range should be fixed. Whereas the, this one, director, should change. Here I should get director and here I should get in the next cell, I should get analyst. I should get engineer. When I drag it down, the reference of the staff should change. So therefore, what I am doing here, I am going to make this as absolute reference. F4 or use if from your keyboard, you can use F4 or write dollar dollar next to each dollar sign like this. I am making this one as absolute reference and dollar B dollar 21, 21. Okay. Then instead of writing this director, you can write the reference of director A24. That's all. Press enter. Now I would like to so I want to remove this formula. Now I would like to copy the formula down. Look at this. So automatically I'm getting there are one director, two analysts, four engineers, eight programmers, and four salesmen. So what is the formula here? By using dollar sign, I'm getting range. And the range should not change when I drag it down. Only the reference of the cell will change. So it's 24 here. When I come down, here it will become 25. What is 25 analyst? 26 engineer, 27 programmer, 28 sales. So the reference is changing and the range is fixed. Always remember the range will be always the same. Range should not change because I am going to find out engineers or analysts from B3 to B21. Always the same, it will not change. What will change? Only director will change analyst and this one. Hope this one is clear to you. Let me show you formula here. Look at this. Uh, B3 to B21 is same everywhere, absolute reference. So here A24, 25, 26, 27 and 28. Hope this is clear. Now, in cell uh, B31, we have to write a formula to find out the employees whose experience is less than five years. Okay, How many employees are there whose experience is less than five years? Here, one, two, like that. Okay, We have to find out from that. Equal to count if, open the bracket. So first we should take the range. What is my range now to find years of experience? Not this one. This is my range. So this is my range. Comma. Uh, and what we should take criteria. What is my criteria? Less than five years. You should write in speech marks less than size symbol and five. Like if you don't write speech mark, it will not work. So there are seven employees who uh, whose experience is less than five years. Now, more than or equal to 10 years of experience equal to uh, count if open the bracket range. This is my range. This is my range. OK. Comma. Uh, what is my criteria more than or equal to 10 more than it should be in speech marks more than or equal to 10 
switch box close back close that's it there are five employees whose experience is more than or equal to 10. all right thank you for watching this video if you have not subscribed my channel yet please like share and subscribe thank you